me Keanu. Today's video is going to be my first of many fall tutorials. I'm so excited to bring this video to you guys because this is one of those videos that I'm going to go over everything, how to completely do full glam. It's kind of a transitional video as well which means that you're not really having to go and dump all your makeup out from the summer and put new products in to play for um for fall so i'm actually going to incorporate a little bit warmer colors for those of us girls that like a little bit more 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 but of course i will explain if you need to transition like not do lashes or maybe do maybe a nude or lip that's possibly to do as well and still go directly into fall as you can tell my hair is much much darker than a lot of the videos in the past because i am embracing my natural brown hue so just be looking forward to more videos like this seeing me with darker hair and i'm hoping you guys are enjoying it as much as i am so without further ado let's get into my first of many fall tutorials bye guys all right guys so let's begin i'm starting with my idealist this is by estee lauder it's a pore minimizing serum i use this as a primer next i'm moving into my advanced night repair this is going to hydrate my skin i love the glow that this gives my skin and it really does protect my skin during the daytime i also use it at night underneath my moisturizer talking about moisturizer my newest favorite moisturizer is the revitalizing supreme moisturizer by estee lauder it has meringue extract inside it gives me maximum hydration and i can really see a visible difference in my skin can't forget those lips I am going to use a liquid lipstick at the end of the video so I'm definitely wanting to hydrate them and let the lip gloss penetrate next I'm going to do some color correcting using my media pro palette by Ben Nye I'm just going to mix the two shades of my choice to create the perfect um, color correcting formula for me and this is one of my favorite techniques to use underneath my concealer blend 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 girls blend honey yes Next, I'm going to move in again with my favorite foundation of all time. This is the Double Wear Bronze Foundation by Estee Lauder. I'm using a crown brush, brown, bronzing brush, just to flatten out this foundation, make sure that it's blended in nice and seamlessly. And then I'm going to move in with my Kevin Aquan Sensuous Skin Enhancer in the shade SX09. I'm going to show you guys a new technique right now. I am using my Advanced Night Repair to blend out this concealer just to sheer it out just a little bit because I've heard people say the sensual skin enhancer is a little thick but this is a great technique to get that brightening effect and not worry about the thickness and it just allows it to blend so effortlessly gives me amazing brightness and then I just continue to blend it out with a damp beauty blender did you hear me say damp girl damp honey you don't want to stamp your concealer you do not want to move this product around you want it to set but you do want to remove any excess and that's why you use a damp beauty blender instead of a dry one next let's move in with this cat colorless powder i'm going to set all of this makeup magic this powder is colorless better than any translucent powder on the market honey yes i am not baking no i'm not baking my skin is too old for that girls we are just setting this product to make sure that it does not go anywhere else. next i'm moving into my color fx palette i am using a bronzing technique and i'm just going to snatch this face all the way back honey i'm talking about contour to the max cheeks forehead neck nose girl if you talking about contour honey we's doing it now i'm just cleaning it up with my damp beauty blender just tracing along to make sure that that contour is nice and snatched again i'm not baking girls yes those contour lines will snatch you and cut you girl next i'm going in with my benefit this is the cabral brow in the shade i believe this is number five i am using the anastasia brow um pencil not pencil but the um oh my gosh the brow brush i will leave all the products in the description box and i'm just creating a very very structured brow now you do your brows how you want i'm gonna do mine how i want and i just really like to can you see the difference brow honey not insta brow but a snatch brow yes hold your breath because they should look like identical twins identical I'm just going underneath this brow to give it a little bit more of a highlighted effect cleaning it up and look at what I'm doing I am blending out the concealer I do not want to see any halo brows do not tag me in halo brows girl say bye bye to that it's not cute next I am going it in with one of my favorite powders this is the Chanel double perfection powder girls it's high hold your breath 
get over the sticker shock it's worth it though this gives me a flawless finish and next i'm moving in with one of my favorite new palettes this is the Visart palette goes on any skin type any skin tone it just gets the job done i'm going into this very very light shade setting all over my eyelid not really taking it up to the brow bone and then i'm going to mix in between that light shade and that very cool brown and stand right in the crease of the eye not taking it up any higher than that using a bedellium tool blending brush do you see me blending do you see those arm muscles you see them shoulders uh-huh that comes from blending girls next i'm going in with this easton brush and this is a very very tapered brush you guys and for those of you that love a cut crease girl this brush will get it done honey get into it get into it look at this eye you can go anywhere with this eye look you guys just really really product placement i don't need blue i don't need purple i don't need yellow just stand with my very soft browns honey this can go into the boardroom it can go into the bedroom it can go church your kids school it can take you into brunch honey and you know what this look just really says i mean business and i am a friend of the blend aren't you blend it out i'm smoking out underneath my lower lash line you can actually stop here you know you really don't have to do an eyeliner um, i do have very very watery eyes some days girls we don't even put an eyeliner on i just blend out any one of these shades underneath this eye area and it just really makes my eyes look nice and bright can you see what that looked like and i just stayed right there in that area right there nothing going any you know shimmery but now i'm going to pop just a little bit of brightness right in the middle can you see the difference so i went from very natural to a little bit more um hologramic so to speak but not too over the top because that's the beauty of the new fall eye showing the shape of the eye not doing too much now this is where it gets tricky i'm doing a liquid liner i'm a fan if you're not step away from the liquid liner because that line needs to be straight again they need to look like identical twins hold your breath you know suck it in do whatever it takes take your time do you see that i'm using a close-up mirror because I do have astigmatism and that wing can get real, real tricky real quick. And some days I say, you know what, the hell with it. And I think today was one of those days. I got it as close as I could and I just moved on. You know, you can win another day. I'm going in now with my Estee Lauder Sumptuous Knockout Mascara. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite mascaras because it, the bristles on this brush. Like, I know it was a girl in the lab when this mascara was created because you can't create clump. You can stop right here. I don't have to worry about doing falsies. But, you know, I'm going to wear falsies just because. That's what us divas do. We go the extra mile and we put them lashes on, honey, and we slay it. Next, I'm going in with a new Estee Lauder blush. This is a color called Soulful Spice, you guys. Oh, I have not put this on anyone that this does not look amazing on, but I am going to use my Mario Badescu setting spray. I'm going to um, dampen my fan brush and going into my Makeup Revolution. That's the Vivid Highlighter, and I'm just going to kind of gloss over those cheeks. I'm going to set my face. I'm going to grab my damn beauty blender and I'm going to press all of this makeup magic in and turn it into second skin. You know what? I could probably be a rhymer. I wonder should I call me um, an agent? Maybe not. Stick to the makeup game. Okay, let's keep moving. I'm going to go back and re-smoke out underneath that lash line. I'm going in with a discontinued product, but if you have you like a brown gel liner or maybe even a pencil liner, you can add that now. That's what I'm doing. Um, you can, you know, just avoid the stuff at all costs. If you don't want to do anything underneath, if you're squeamish, look away. I didn't say go anywhere. Look away. Um, I am, again, going to, you know, put some mascara on those lower lashes, honey, because we need them to be nice and long. They need to kind of mimic my upper lashes. And look at my baby. He's like, Mommy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let's see. Yes, he gives his mommy some kisses, but he made sure that he could see himself in the frame, of course. But continuing on to the business at hand, I am going back and adding more mascara to those lower lashes, lengthening them up. And girls, wait for it. Glamorous Chicks Cosmetics. This shade, you guys, is called Venom. And let me tell you, 
it is so hypnotic. It is just the prettiest uh, 24 hour lip lipstick. Look at that sledge, honey. And she got cornrows in, honey. Honey, she slammed before she put the bonnet on, and bam. She went to a satin bonnet to protect that hair, honey. She gonna throw that wig on and get it information. All of the details to this unit will be in the description box. And you guys, seriously, this unit has single-handedly allowed me to embrace my darker hue of hair. It is time for me to go to the salon, but I don't think I'm going to allow her to do anything with my color. I'm just going to get that nice trim, and I'm going to take loose a little bit of this leave out, honey. We're going to push this hair up in this wig, girls. Grab us a little razor blade and make all of that match together. Do not forget to blend in that part, girls. That part needs to look like it's part of your scalp, girls. It needs to. It does not need to ripple or buckle. It needs to lay as flat as possible. And I just do that with a little concealer. I go in with a little bit of mineralized setting powder and set it all in. And then, of course, I'm going to continue to blend in, you know, those edges. Get me a little bit of that argan oil, um, echo styling gel. Just kind of brush it in with a little toothbrush. And just continue to push it, honey. Look at that hair looking like it's coming out the scalp, girl. Yes! Get me a little bit of my Design Essentials Finishing Spray. Just to give me the um, sheen and the luminosity that I need. And it just works so good. And you know, we're going to take that razor blade, girl, and get rid of a little bit of these sprays. Because this is a synthetic unit, honey. It cost me like $30. So I am not afraid to cut it. And there you have the finalized look. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video of my first of many fall tutorials. Remember to comment down below on any other looks that you want to see. Subscribe to my channel before you leave. Until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hugs and kisses. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.